What zero tolerance school stories do you have? My sister almost got suspended in the third grade cause my mom put a plastic butter knife in her lunch one day. I forget why she needed it for her lunch. One of the lunchroom aides spotted her using it and sent her right to the principal's office and they called my mom to come in. A third grader stabs an adult with a plastic knife. Knife breaks. Adult looks at them confused. This was 10 years ago. My cousin, one grade lower than me, got into a fight at school. Zero tolerance policy says they are both suspended. Attached to this policy is if a student is involved in three separate fights within their time at the high school then they were expelled. Within two weeks of my cousin returning one of the guy's friends started a fight with my cousin. They are both suspended. A few weeks after he returns again another friend of the original kid starts a fight with my cousin. In each situation the other kid threw the first punch. Zero tolerance each time means it didn't matter. That is how children outsmarted the zero tolerance policy and why my cousin graduated from a private high school. That's really smart of them and really fricked up. Frick zero tolerance. When I was in year 10, grade 9 for Americans, we all had to line up to go into the dinner hall. For whatever reason they put the menu with what they were serving that day at the front of the queue so I walked to the front to read it. As I was walking back a tiny year 8 kid, grade 7, shouted over to me hey stop trying to cut in the line you dong head. I just told him to frick off and mind his own business as it's the kind of school where if it looks like you're giving in to a younger kid without fighting your corner you won't hear the end of it. Then the little crap rugby tackled me but he was too small to knock me over so I just kind of stood there awkwardly as he tried to kick me. After a while I'd had enough so I grabbed him and picked him up. Put him against the wall where he was standing before and turned to walk off. The headmaster was standing right in front of me and he'd been watching the whole thing. We both got sent to the reflection room which is like a higher form of detention. The only time I got in trouble was for trying to walk away from a fight started by someone half my size who I probably could have hurt if I had wanted to. Thanks, headmaster. Now I know in the future that I should just deck the little bastard instead of being gentle because the punishment is going to be the same anyway. In 9th grade I was in a class that had some disruptive students that always caused problems for the teacher. But during the semester they were forced to sit at the desks nearest the teacher's desk. I wasn't a bad student at all but for some reason I was forced to sit in the front of them. I was P. One day we had a substitute and my entire row gave the sub a very hard time. When the actual teacher came back she forced everyone in my room to detention. Many other students protested for me, even the bad students in my row. She said, that's too bad. From that day forward I helped the bad students to not get caught whenever they fricked with her. Good for you man. I always like to mess with teachers if they were unfair to their students. Not me, but my niece once had to do a school project about the Voyagers. We lived in a relevant area, in the computer lab. So she innocently typed in furtraders.com org net whatever. Of course it was P. She got suspended. We had to do a project on pirates for grade 12 history. Could not get research done due to piracy coming up on the school filter. Left a BB gun in my friend's car in high school. Security saw it and he got kicked out. I talked to the principal, who was our friend and mentor, about reversing the decision or taking the punishment myself. He was just as upset as me, but he kept explaining that his hands were tied. He finally just looked me in the eye and said zero tolerance. Actually, he used my name afterward, so I knew the conversation was over. My friend graduated from an alternative school. That's fricked up. I once got suspended because a security guard found an unloaded airsoft pistol in the back of my truck. Let me be clear, by pistol, I mean those ones made of clear plastic and by back of my truck I mean behind the passenger seat of a crew cab with tinted rear windows. This security guard is really doing his job eh? Marking the suburban high schools safe for everyone. Also, I had a friend who got suspended for bringing a metal butter knife to school with his lunch. A knife is a knife people. There can be no tolerance for weapons or logic and reasoning. Two people got suspended for fighting off school property with each other. Also, not my school, but a local school, and it made the news. A girl with Down syndrome or an intellectual disability said a popular athlete molested assaulted her in the library, and they made the girl write an apology letter to him, only to find out later he did do it, many times. They made the girl write an apology letter to him, 
That is so sad. I hope she eventually got justice. When I was in 10th grade, I was eating dinner with my family and my dad accidentally spills his beer all over my shirt. No big deal. So I go upstairs and take my shirt off for the night. The next day while I'm getting dressed I see that I'm out of clean shirts to wear so without thinking I grabbed the shirt from last night and put it on. Eat breakfast and get out the door. The day was pretty normal, until I was called up to the front office. I wasn't really a bad kid or anything so I wasn't too worried. Once I arrived the principal informed me that another student told him that I smelled like beer and assumed that I had been drinking. I told the principal about what happened last night and assured him that I had not been drinking. He tells me that it still counts as bringing alcohol onto school grounds, and for that I was suspended. We have a zero tolerance no fighting rule in our gymnasium. Like even if you lay down on your back while you're getting jumped you'll still get expelled. Happened to get into a fight with a guy I honestly could easily beat down. But since I really don't want any trouble with the school or at home I just blocked my head until the principal came by. After a minute of discussion he told me that I'd get suspended for a two weeks even when I told him that I didn't hit back. So I did what any teenager would have done. I think. I got loose from the principal and beat the other guy down and took my punishment. If you're gonna do the time, you might as well do the crime. My school had a zero tolerance policy on cell phones and electronic items. Obviously you can't convince a high schooler to not bring a phone with him her so the administrators would do raids occasionally and bust some phones each time. They didn't give it back until the end of the year. I don't think that is really legal for them to keep your cell phone for the rest of the year. In high school I got suspended for one week because I had a bottle of prescription painkillers in my locker. I was taking them because I got a serious knee injury while playing for the school baseball team. I also got kicked off the team and wasn't allowed to participate in any sports at school for the last 2.5 years of my high school education. The principal explained to me that they had a zero tolerance policy to drugs of any kind. Worst part is... I could have went to at least 10 different lockers in school and shown him drugs in there, but he wouldn't let me because I shouldn't be snitching on my peers. Screw you principal vikers. I mean usually you're supposed to give the nurse your meds, but I'm still on your side. They went overboard. I went to a very 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 crappy school district. I mean this place is scum in so many ways. My little brother has ADD and mild autism. He's a very nice kid and always has been. I mean he opens doors for everyone and compliments people he doesn't even know. Anyways, there was a kid in his grade who was the biggest butthole. He was mean to everyone, even the poor kids who were his friends. He always picked on my brother and his friends, calling them retarded and everything else. One day, we get a code red. Everyone is stuck in their classrooms and there had been a recent trend in girls fighting in the bathroom, so everyone assumed that was what was going on. Number. I wish it had been a girl fight. I get called down to the office about an hour later. My brother and his best friend were walking to class. They were at the top of one of the stairwells when Butthole McButford came up behind them and shoved my brother down the stairs as hard as he could. My brother tried to grab onto the brick wall to stop himself from falling and ended up dragging his hand down the bricks, ripping his hand apart. He still has the scar. He hit his face on the tile at the bottom after doing several head over heels rolls down the stairs. His nose and lip were bleeding and his back was hurt so bad they thought he had broken it. He ended up going to the emergency room. Fast forward a week later. He's back in school and the principal calls him to her office. This B. I don't know how this B was ever allowed to work in a school. She made my brother shake hands with butthole and makeup. She said the alternative was both of them getting suspended because she did not believe my brother did nothing to provoke him from pushing him down the stairs, despite two witnesses telling her what happened. My brother has been bitter over that ever since. Also, when my mom found out he had to shake butthole McButthut's hand, she went to the school and confronted the principal. The principal told my mom, well maybe if your son wasn't annoying it wouldn't have happened. My mom pulled her across the desk and a secretary had to pull her off of her. I like your mom. There wasn't really a zero tolerance thing back then but school was over. I was starting my walk home and a friend runs by and drops his bag by me and yells to me to carry it. We were going to play hockey after school so whatever. Nothing of circumstance came of it. I never heard where he was even running to. Next day teacher is all pee off. 
I go in to see the principal and turns out my friend was trying to pick a fight. Mind you. Apparently all he ever did was run after someone but never even got close to them. Not even the same block. There was no fight. This also happened all outside of the school. So naturally my friend was suspended for a week and remaining days in that week. And because I carried his bag I was an accomplice in the fight. Which never happened. I was suspended for the remaining days in that week. There was like 2-3 day vacation for me that I was happy to take. It was all crappy rainy days but I was happy to leave. So you got punished for a fight that never happened that you didn't know about. Not quite zero tolerance but my friend's sister grew up in quite a foul mouthed household. With older siblings. Her first word s was son of a b blurted out emphatically for no apparent reason at the breakfast table. And when she was quite young. First grade. Some boy pushed her on the playground. She called him a boob. He broke down and cried. Told the teacher. She had to eat lunch on the psychologist's office the rest of the year because she was a danger to the other students or something. And her mother had to come in. Mother told them that if they thought that was the most pressing issue they had she thought they should look harder. Didn't go to the meeting. She's a badass in general. The boob got in no trouble for pushing her because he told on her first. She could have easily beaten the crap out of him. I'm in Britain where zero tolerance isn't really a thing. I think the closest thing we got to zero tolerance were when teachers would hold an entire class back in detention, including the ones who were not disruptive and were doing the work. It seriously pee me off when I was at school. It happened mostly during year 7, 8 and 9. I'd have been 11 when I started year 7, which is the first year of secondary school in Britain. Teachers at my school did it because it was to punish the disruptive students. They wanted the innocent to blame the guilty and ostracize them so they wouldn't do it again. I know a girl who got suspended for having cough drops in the backseat of her car. I don't have a story, but I was blamed for a fight that happened on a weekend that wasn't even off school grounds. This kid who doesn't even go to my school who has a name really similar to mine got in a fight with some kid at my school. So naturally they thought it was me. Thankfully a couple days earlier my friend told me about said fight. So I was able to provide some background information to get myself out of blame. But they took me to a friggin room with the school cop and some other people and they were treating this like a massive deal. It's a fight that happened on the weekend at a scatter park. And one of the kids doesn't even go to the same school. Why are you meddling in on their business? My school had a zero hat policy because of gangs. I got suspended for wearing a coon skin hat. I guess I was representing the Davy Crockett gang. Everyone knows the Crockett's run the east side of this city. Bully punches kid in the face. Kid doesn't fight back because he knows he'll get suspended for fighting. Kid lets the bully hit him until the teacher gets there. Teacher gets there and gives a detention to the bully and the bullied. My stepbrother and his friends all got suspended for pretending to have lightsabers at recess. No not plastic ones. Literally their imagination. WTF. A boy bullied me for almost an entire year. Called me fat. That kind of thing. I said if he kept talking to me I was going to kill him. I got in school suspension for two days. He got a talk from the guidance counselor about how you shouldn't bully girls you have a crush on. Chewing gum. Rather, looking like I was chewing gum because my jaw was sore from having rubber bands on my braces. Ended up in an isolation room for the rest of the day and then got suspended for a week. Looking back now I realize how stupid most grade school suspensions are because it doesn't really teach you anything other than the fact that you get vacation for looking like you're breaking a silly rule. You've been spotted by the doggo of studying like this video for good grades for the next 2 years. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.